So what I have here is the little cardboard piece that comes behind a poster when you buy a poster. That same poster that I did my Mod Podge project. This is just a little piece of cardboard that was behind the poster to keep it from bending. And so I saw this in um, Hobby Lobby also. Wall art, vinyl lettering. And so this is what the lettering will say. I don't know if you guys can read that or not, but it says, having somewhere to go is a home, having someone to love is a family, and having both is a blessing. And so the lettering comes just like that. Here's one of the sections right here. Comes just like that on a little sheet. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this like a tannish color. I may use two or three different colors of tan. I'm going to use the same colors that I've used around my house to kind of, you know, um, blend in with the whole thing that I have going. And I'm just going to paint this and attach the lettering to it. And I'll show you guys how it comes out. So this is my little makeshift piece of artwork. This is how it came out. I used uh, two different shades of antique white and one muted gold. It's that darker color that you see there. And now I'm going to apply my lettering. Okay, so I have just attached the first um, vinyl lettering and I started with the bottom one. Why? I don't know. I just did it that way. And so far I really like um, how it looks. I've smoothed it out and I guess I am going to uh, go ahead and peel the sticker off now and hope that I did this correctly to where it's going to stick. So far so good. Yeah, I'm going to switch hands. Oh, thank you. I could pull it off for you. Hold it tight. I'll pull it. Just hold it for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even see that. This is like a stamp. Hold it. We're losing the H. We're losing the H. Mayday! Beautiful. All right, we got the H on there. Yay! And it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the next two. All right. Okay, so I just took a little white backing off of the next one, and I'm gonna try to position it correctly. Which is going to be very hard, but I'm going to try to work it out anyway. <laughs> Alright, hopefully that's straight because it's going down. Alright, take my little plastic thing that they included. It looks good when you smooth it down. Let's hope it looks good when I take it off. <laughs> That's the best part. I like recording you, Mommy. Alright. <clears throat> and I may be jumping the gun here because, you know, I don't have patience to, like, wait. Can you stay? Uh, I'm watching you, mommy. It's like I'm watching you on TV. <laughs> You're 
Mommy, can you record this on TV? Like, put it on the computer, and then put that, um, blue thing on, and then, um, record it on the TV. Yes. Awesome. Alright. Looks good. One down. No, two down, one to go. Alright, so this is how my, um, artwork came out today, you guys. I think it looks very nice. What I'm going to do, um, I'm probably going to frame it and hang it on my wall. <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys like it. It was a very inexpensive project. I think it came out pretty nice. Alright you guys, later. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the next day. And so, um, showed you guys how my artwork came out. Pretty nice, I do say so myself. Um, I have this little space in between here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, this little brown shimmery bow that I made. I'm just going to um, use a glue stick and apply it on there. Just to give it a little bit of um, a little bit of flair. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And so today I went to Walmart and I picked out this frame. Oh, there we go. Picked out this frame. It's a 24 by 36, which is poster size. And it cost me $24 at Walmart, which is pretty cheap for a frame this size. And so I'm going to go ahead and frame my little art piece right now. But I'm not going to make you guys sit through it, so I'll be back. Okay, I just finished framing my artwork, and this is how it came out. Hopefully you can see that it's not too much of a glare. So I'm ready to hang it up. Here it is, hanging on the wall when you first come into my house. It's the living room behind you. And here is my beautiful artwork. And I realized that a lot of people do vinyl letters. They do them directly on the wall, which I could have done here as well. But now I have the luxury of being able to frame my art piece and being able to move it whenever, wherever I choose to, if I so choose. So yeah, that's how my project turned out, you guys. I hope you like it. And you can do it really easy and really cheap. Bye.